Five years ago now, I was selected as the superintendent of schools. We had a strategic planning, goal setting meeting with the board. We wanted to have an audit on how much we were spending for energy. And then the idea of solar panels came in. The audit for energy was a defensive plan, how to stop the bleeding of the money. But the solar plan became like our offensive plan, how to make money. We were the first school in Arkansas to pioneer this and Pioneers is our mascot. 1,500 kilowatts a year is what we was, were using. Our solar field and solar canopy is producing 750 watts. So we're getting about 50% of our energy needs written off. Our board, they made sure the money we got went back to the staff. And that's the best thing we can do to put students first. I taught for 29 years. Before solar, our base was 30,000. This Monday night in the school board meeting, we raised the base to 40,500 for next year. Solar energy has contributed to that because it's freed up money from other things. But we want to retain the good teachers we've got and encourage people to come. We are capturing energy in a clean way and we're giving back to our teachers, we're giving back to our school, we're giving back to the educational process. We've come full circle with the start and the completion and showing the results. Just in our area alone, in the three or four counties around us, there are over 30 schools now that are doing this. When you show your community that you are trying to stretch those tax dollars because you're focused on student achievement, they're very appreciative.